Three, two, one. Let's do it. Okay. Um, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, everyone on YouTube. This is Larsh. Um, these are my two friends. They're gonna be playing a Mech Warrior Dark Age click game. Um, old Bob, you may have known from YouTube and on my video channels and um, everything else we've done the past few weeks. He went ahead and mailed us a box from his house of Mech Warrior Dark Age pieces. So I'm actually pretty pumped to see what we got in this guy. Um, most because I know we're probably the only people in the world who still like Mech Warrior Dark, Dark Age. Uh, cause this game is super old. So anyway, um, if you guys want to go ahead and state your names and then um, I think this guy here is going to explain what we're doing with this game. So, what's your Hi. name? Hi, I'm DS, I suppose. Good <laughs> enough. Cool, I'm Duran, and as for what we're doing with this game is, uh, Lars and I started playing back in Boy Scouts, and we played the game pretty much as it was, quote, supposed to be played. And then as we, uh, you know, grew older and started getting into other nerd things like D&D, etc., uh, I specifically mentioned D&D, is we thought about, like, hey, it'd be really cool to do kind of just, like, a tabletop role-playing session with the units instead of just, we're fighting each other, and then, okay, we're fighting each other again. So, uh, sat down and made some custom rules for it, barred from Shadowrun, barred from the core rules, and looking like we have something going on, we're gonna try to make this happen, and, uh, when Larsh was talking about it with his Beck Warrior friends, you guys, I'm assuming some of them, yep. uh, Old Bob was like, hey, I'm gonna send some of these units over, so we're gonna see what's in here. Yeah, because because apparently Old Bob had a whole bunch of these, and we were talking online, and, you know, I mentioned to him about the game we're going to go ahead and use and uh, basically modify Mech Warrior with, you know, Shadowrun to make our own gameplay out of it. Um, and Old Bob was like, well, I got a whole bunch of units. I'm selling them on, on my store, but these guys might get a better home for you. Which I was like, oh, well, that's pretty awesome, man. I can't wait to see. So we're going to go ahead and crack this uh, box open here. I did not find a... Uh, <laughs> A pair of scissors, so we're using a knife. As I'm using old Boy Scout method methods here to just stab myself, right? And let's see, put this down here. So, let's go ahead and open that guy. Alright, and we're actually on that tiny shitty camera right now. So, we're gonna go ahead and just kinda. Oh, it's a bag! Oh, wow! Ooh, where's actually. Holy shit, there's a lot in here. Alright, we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to probably do like multiple things all at once because there's there's actually a lot more in here that I thought that I thought we were gonna get actually. I mean, so, sorry Bob, I knew you were gonna give, give, give us things, but I didn't know we were gonna get this many. Um, also, by the way, go to Ageless, Ageless Games. Yeah. Let's uh go pop them on there. <laughs> I guess I could put this in front of it, bro. Yeah, yeah, you actually could put like the little tag right next to it. Um, got two of those. And sadly, I don't know a lot of lore for Mech Warrior, so I apologize if I don't know a lot of the names or what they all mean in the lore, because, you know, I know in Dark Age they changed a lot of, of the styling. It's really cool looking. It is huge. Yeah, it's got this it's massive cool. fire knocker. So yeah, so um, if you Fires. so if you probably watching this and you don't don't know what any of this means, the firing arc is this large white arc in the front. This is that lo so basically this thing can fire out of anything from this angle. And for a mech this size, it would only be able to fire maybe from like off the sides here. So this has got a huge can almost fire almost nearly out the back. It's actually really cool. This is worth. 159 points. Um, so in Dark Age, um, these things are deployed in point values instead of tonnage. Which I guess the tonnage and the value is kind of the same. So this is like a 1 in 59. That's actually a pretty heavy, probably like a, probably, yeah, probably like a heavy mech. That's what that would be. Alright, next up is a blade mech. So... <laughs> I guess for the audience, I'm complete mech warrior noob. Uh, <laughs> I'm in here more because I play tabletops with these guys and I've done Shadowrun stuff before, but I don't know mech warrior. So when you're saying green unit, 
Does that mean something, or is that just because he's got green on his shirt? Oh, uh, no, that's so right. So that is, uh, and I'll try to make it to the camera can see, right next to where the point value of what the unit is, there's a chevron. Uh, let me turn it so you can see. Uh, so there's a chevron, and the amount of chevrons there are describes what type of unit it is. So it's, uh, what, one is green, two is veteran, veteran and three, three is elite. Three is elite, and then there's also units that'll have stars, which are special, special and generally have a name assigned to them and, like, special other stuff. Yeah, and then usually, um, if they're special, they give you a little dossier. Actually, really cool is that they give you these d dossiers, and so... For me, that you know, what, because I didn't know a whole lot of lore from the original Mech Warrior, they gave you a bunch of these things, and it was it was super cool, because for any of these um, special mechs, they they they, they actually give you a, the history, the class size, the person who would pilot it, and a short history of the actual mech itself. So. I thoroughly enjoyed these guys a lot. These, these things are really cool. So lore-wise, the special mechs had like a specific pilot from yeah, the story. Yeah, exactly. So that's like all the dossiers. And then also, um, if you bought the actual beginner set that came with, um, basically it was two armies for a two-player beginner game, they actually gave you dossiers for every single clan and faction of the game. So... Now I know a lot of these are not in Mech Warrior Online, but yeah, I think there's actually a Dragon's Fury right there. But yeah, but it's pretty cool though. You know, it's really, it's really neat. It's one of those things that WizKids I think actually did right whenever they brought this game out. So, all right. So on the cameras we've had um, what Mark II battle armor uh, from. Uh, I guess Mech Warrior Dark Age uh, Dragon Fury, but what Mech Warrior Online? That'd be House Krajita. Yeah, probably would be a, like a House Krajita. So, or if we're wrong, tell us in the comments. Because <laughs> we if might. Because we might be completely wrong. All right, let's, let's get some the new um, up there. Let's see if we can get. I, I, I kind of want to get, get through all the Excuse the me. infantry first. Nice. The the eight build point minigun cycle. <laughs> more more minigun cycles. <laughs> Just what we need. Uh, the uh, slightly different minigun cycle. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got, dude, Bob, you're giving us a lot of minigun cycles. <laughs> got tons of miniguns. One from uh, like four minigun got cycles. Got four minigun <laughs> cycles. What the hell is this thing? This laser one is battery. Right? Oh, he has laser batteries. Laser batteries are awesome. Bro. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, sorry. It's like a little... Like, beep, beep. A little <laughs> spinning on that. Um, this guy's pretty cool. Oh, wow. It's like a 360-degree 360, 360 arc. It's got a short-range missile launcher guy. I've never actually seen this one in this set. This is pretty sweet. I think I got a full arc on that guy. So once again, you can kind of see that the white arc... Uh, is the firing arc. So this guy's firing arc's huge compared to literally all of these minigun cycles lined up here that can only hit the front part of their arc. Uh, the front part of the circle. where The direction they're facing. Right. Feels like... <laughs> huh. Foshin, it's a vet veteran unit. And... Ah, uh, the molding's really peculiar. They're like, <laughs> peculiar little packs in the back of them there. I know, I probably should be putting them on the camera more often. I'm guilty of not doing that. But that guy's crazy looking. Salamander battle armor. So, um, this is one of the ones that's like, I think might be like amphibious in the game, I think. I forget which, which ones are like colored. You no, can do he's, that. he's got jump jets. Oh yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, cause the, yeah. Oh yeah, so another thing too is that on, on these dials here, you might be able to see all these like little colored notches and squares and bubbles on all the sheets there is that if you played um hero clicks i think this game came out before, actually these are all the same units i'm gonna put them all down here they're all the same salamander battle armor um is that if you played hero clicks or the any other like clicks games um the colored squares and circles meant that they had different abilities so um like for this guy um, this is like your attack, it's your movement, um, no, no, it's actually damage. Your damage, movement, attack, and defense. And for each colored square, and they would change per click, so if this guy would move his clicks, you know, you might see on the camera there that certain things are changing. 
And that just means that he will either gain or lose certain abilities in the game, which is kind of neat. Now, uh, of course, the first time you play with them, it's kind of a game of chance. Unless you just click them ahead of time, then you kind of know what to expect uh, when it comes to these units here. So, what's hero clicks? Because is it like... Oh, you didn't, oh, you didn't know? No, I don't... I, oh, shit. I don't, you gotta remember, this stuff, like, I've done Shadowrun, I've done d and I've okay. been in that area, but these kind of, like, figurine oh, games, okay. I know nothing. So, yeah, so, um, back in, like, I want to say, like, 2004, 2006-ish, um, it was a company called WizKids, and they wanted to make these miniature games where they were pre-painted games. And there's a game... I forget if it's still out now, but it, but it was a big deal back then called Hero Clicks, and it was and they, and it was this kind of click dial base system, but it was based around like the DC universe. Hmm. And I think the Marvel. So yeah, so, so I, I think it was like DC and Marvel combined. So so you would like go ahead and have giant superhero battles. So it played like one of those like strategy games like this, mm -hmm. but it's uh, superheroes yeah. instead of mechs. We have got a uh, Condor tank. A joust tank, a second joust tank, slightly <laughs> different. Uh, what we have, clan wolf and I. You might clan wolf. Um, oh, shit, got the dossier down here. <laughs> <laughs> dossier. Also, I'm like two, two rum and cokes in. So excuse me. <laughs> um, dancing raiders, a uh, steel wolves, and I shouldn't. Highlanders. This guy's definitely Highlanders. It's a Highlander. Yeah, I think it's a Highlander one. Yeah, it's Highlanders because I know you and I had a whole bunch of Highlander units. Yep. And we used to use them. And then uh, your favorite, Lars. Oh, you bitch. We've got two Mars assault tanks. Oh, <laughs> Mars assault tanks. Okay. I've heard stories. Yeah, so these, these, these ones are different, though. They the don't have as crazy defense as mine does. No, but these are, um, well, yeah, because like one's actually a. Uh, mercenary unit because it has no faction. And the other is um, um, Steiner. No, nah, that's not Steiner. It's like the, the it's, it's it's the slightly different but allied with Steiner. Steiner. Something yeah. It's like, it's, it's, it's like the fist with like lightning bolts coming out of it. If basically um, every unit that you that that mainly we're talking about, we know which faction or house they belong to because next to their name is a little there's actually a little like symbol. Um, so the ones that don't, they're actually the mercenary units of the game, but they have no faction or, or house. And I know people are going to say in the comments because we're stupid of which house or unit this is, but it's like a fist holding a hammer with lightning bolts coming out of it. I completely forget what it is, but um, it's not in the dossiers because that was like a newer one they released, so I don't think it's even in there. So... But yeah, but um, I yeah. I think Age of Destruction might have said. I think they had. Yeah, it but it showed which ones allied with what. I yeah, think. they did. Yeah, it's right. Yeah, because yeah, because Age, Age of Destruction told you which houses and uh, clans actually joined, um, like you know they joined together and that kind of thing. So does the uh, does the house have any gameplay implications, or is that just flavor? Normally, yes. Uh, if you were like, <laughs> it's cool. If uh, <laughs> I was playing, um, let me find some. Light. So uh, these. This tank and these uh, infantry here, um, they are all allied. They all have the same house symbol. So what I could do in the normal Dark Age game is I could move them all together because normally I would only get, uh, I want to say it was like one move action per 100 or 50 or 100 build points. I forget the exact how that worked. I think it was 150, I think is what it was. Um, oh my so you could link your units up and these guys could all move together. So that way, I'm spending one move action to move that formation. Alternatively, uh, I could have them attack together. Now, whatever I'm attacking had to be within the range of all three of these, but it would give me bonuses to the attack. So uh, the Mars Assault tank that he was groaning about that I had had a very high defense. Its defense was like 23 or 24. Stupid. <laughs> um, so it was very hard to hit. And one of the ways you would try to hit and damage it would be stacking up formation so that your attacks became easier. All right, well, apparently we've got two other pieces in the box here. Two more max. So let's go ahead and uh, clear the table. And uh, let's see what else we got in here. Uh, this is a locust. Let's, let's see how they change the locust into uh, Dark Age. 
So it's interesting because now that I know what a lot of the units actually look like in Battletech because of Mech Warrior Online and uh, going through Sarna.net, I learned what a lot of things look like. And, oh wow, this thing's got a lot of moving parts on it actually. That's interesting. The actual leg moves, but it's not like, uh, like this one actually broke, but that's all right. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, so you guys watching um, for my channel and, and you watch for Mech Warrior Online, and it uses a lot of the original designs. This is probably gonna kill you because because um, I know a lot of people don't like the designs from Dark Age. Uh, here's the design of the Locust for uh, Dark Age. <laughs> that's the Locust. <laughs> but yeah, but it's, uh, it's a light mech. Uh, actually, what's the range? It's got a 0 to 10 on energy, 0 to 6 on energy. It's got, um, ooh, it's got evade. That's kind of cool. That's like, uh, I think it's the skill that it gets plus 2 to its defense when going against like a range attack. Um, I, uh, I don't know. I think remember. that's what it is, yeah. I really should, but really I'm should. not running the game till summer, so. That's, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Alright, All right, and then we've got a good old forestry mech. Forestry mech! Which, why a forestry mech needs a wrecking ball is I'm foresting, Rob. For yes! Foresting. Wow, okay, so those of you who uh, pre ordered the Roughneck on MechWarrior Online, this is your forestry mech. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I know Old Bob said that he gave us something extra, and what, what is this? I'm Phoenix so Hawk 1K. Guys. Archer 2R, like I don't know what these are. Uh, it looks like you. Um... Is that for if you don't have mech? Yeah, I, I, it looks like this. Yeah, like with, I think like, like little stands. Are these for like battle tech? Like like the, could be because yeah you know, because the old school battle tech. Because it looks like you'd even cut yeah, them there. Yeah, because actually like, yeah, and they connect oh, them together. Oh, is that one? Um... Put it on the table. Yeah, there. Great. Um, but on the flat part. Yeah. Well, it would be nice if it was actually flat. Yeah, just um, mash it down a little bit. <laughs> mash it down. Back. We just got him in. Mash him down. No, I mean for like precision. Here, like crease it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, plastic bags for sa standees. Perfect. You know, th well, thankfully Bob knows me well enough, and he okay, and he right and he Bob. gave me and he gave me my favorite mech to use in game besides the Mist Links is the uh, Phoenix Hawk. Thanks, Bob. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably put that on my on my desk whenever I play. And what else we got? Else we got Phoenix, Phoenix Hawk. This is the Archer. And what else we got? What's that one? Oh, Warhammer. Oh, because they're all Macross. That's why. <laughs> That's why Bob gave them to me is because they're all freaking Macross. <laughs> That's why. So, um, yeah, and then these are just all just instruction manuals. And look, Shadowrun. Hey. Uh, yeah, I look, think it's... Shadowrun actually is made by WizKids. Uh, yeah. Someone will... Yell at me and your <laughs> yeah, they'll, probably, they'll probably like no. You're Wait, wrong. Shadowrun duels. So this isn't this isn't Shadowrun. This is a uh, I guess it's maybe like a Mech Warrior like thing with Shadowrun. It's like a clicks um, game or something. It looks like if it. it's WizKid, it's probably it's probably a clicks game. Awesome. Well, anyway, guys, um, think that's gonna be probably it for the um, unboxing here. Um, so yeah, so old Bob again. Uh, thanks for. Sending the box of stuff. I really appreciate it. Um, I don't know if we're gonna do a, maybe like an update if people were curious about to know about how we're modifying a yeah. Shutter Run game and how it works in the Mech Warrior. Maybe it'd be kind of cool to. I don't know if if you guys are curious, let us know in the comments and we'll tell you like what we're trying to do by modifying a Mech Warrior Dark Age game into a Shutter Run rule and me making them do meshing. Stuff and yeah. Yeah, I'll totally do it. Cool. Yeah, I think it'd be, be kinda of cool. So um alright guys, um it's been Larsh. Thanks for uh tuning in. Um and we'll see you all later. Should you record a segment <laughs> on the uh, big with us focus? Nah, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take Uber number real. four. <laughs> <laughs>